Hello everybody, I am Bacter, and I will be your host for this uh, Let's Play Loofed Rousers. This is, uh, this is a fun little game. It's cheap right now, it's on, uh, it's on Steam for not very much money. And I thought I'd show it off because it's just, you know, there's games with uh, narratives, there's games with um, a lot of arcs to them, there's games with a lot of depth and uh, characterization and things like that. And then this this strikes me as like one of the games that you used to love to play as a kid, basically, which, you know, isn't uh, especially deep, but is just, it's, it's so much fun. Um, there was a, a book I read one time about why people, you know, play games and why we enjoy them. And one of the reasons was just for the simple joy of uh, experiencing a fun little environment. And that's what this is. Everything that's in it is coded well. Uh, everything that's in it is just fun and easy to do. So let's quickly go over the controls. It's real simple. It's just up to fly, left and right to, to bank. Down doesn't really do anything. For now, anyway, there might be something later. You are constantly pressed upon by gravity, so anytime you are stalling, you know, you're ending your upwards arc and sinking. The water hurts you, other bullets hit you, ramming into other people hits you. If you're not firing, you're healing, and uh, boy, if you're not healing, you probably better be firing. The game starts off with just a few... Ju a few little planes coming after us, but boy, does it build up. Uh, to massive fleets. We are a Luftrauser, which is a fake German word that doesn't really mean much of anything. I am assured by the fine German-speaking people here it's something awful. Um, it was picked because it just vaguely sounds German, although if I had to guess what they were going for in Germish, uh, Raus means quick or get out or something like that, to clear, you know, to, to clear out. Like, if you want somebody to get out, you can say, like, Rauschmitten, you know, stuff like that. Rausch, Rausch, Raus, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, and uh, Luft, as in the Luftwaffe, is the air. So, it's your, uh, you clear out people when you fly, and that's about as good a description as any. These big things down there are battleships, and they are super nasty. Uh, one of the things we'll discover once we die, which will be not too long, as it turns out. Oh, never mind. I died there. Is, uh, see, you ha we have these little achievements here, uh, and I apparently I cleared some of them already, and I can see my stats here. Uh, I can go to the hangar, although I don't have any new parts yet. You can fit different parts to your uh, sub. You gain points by killing people. I need to score over a thousand, kill 30 enemies, and kill five fighters in one match. Not too hard. I like the, uh, the little turning animations. I like how let me get close to the ocean here. It, you know, it billows out before you like that. If you dive under, you'll come back up again. There we go. Five fighters in a game. I guess you, I guess you actually had to uh, get done with one um, level before they would let you start earning achievements or points or anything like that. There, there is certainly some skill involved in the game. There we go. Scored over a thousand. You, you always want to be firing unless you take too much damage. And it gives you that little warning when you're close to death there, and, and you can see that, you know, the sky starts to light up and things like that. I'm not the best at this game. I'm not the best at, uh, really, most games. I'm, I'm medium competent, let's say. That's the level that I aspire to be. Uh, but I'm, I'm good enough to pull off some impressive things, and that's, that's one of the things I appreciate about this game. Oh my gosh! Uh, that is a, that's a boss message. So this guy is almost certainly going to kill me. Look at that. Oh, I am super dead. I don't have anywhere near the hardware to be dealing with them. Do I get any neat parts yet? No, I do not. Okay. Killed five fighters and 30 enemies in total, so 36 enemies to go. You'll notice I'm called the original down there, and that's just because I have all of the main parts on me. Again, a big part of this game is mix and matching, so we'll get to that in just a little bit. I'll probably take us through... Hey! Killing a boat was one of my new objectives. What are what are my objectives? Ooh, and a 10x combo. Combos are, obviously, you just have to kill people in a uh, quick amount of time. And these little planes are probably the best for it, because they don't take too much to kill. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah, there we go. 
getting achievements is more important than living forever, because uh, with this little plane, you know, you're probably not going to be beating the whole game anyway. You play for a while is how it goes, and I think that you need to rack up a certain amount of kills and, you know, cause a certain amount of consternation, and eventually they start sending boss enemies at you. Of which those, uh, quote, weird planes are one. Those are actually pretty rare. I'm not sure what the, the draw is for those. And in fact, I've, I don't think I've ever beaten them. I haven't played this game a ton. I've played it enough to, you know, bare bones know what I'm doing. Uh, so that I can present this LP to you. My goal in the Let's Play is to uh, complete the game, or at least get to some reasonable uh, fraction of completed. You know, if I reach a point where I'm clearly not going to be getting much farther, then I'll uh, let you know about that. So, ramming into planes, I mean, you do have... Yeah, there we go, there's an achievement. Um, you do have more health than a lot of the little dinky planes. Let's go over the enemies, huh? Oh my golly, that is a submarine. Man. What did I kill there? Oh, was that one of the fast planes? Hey, hey, look at this. My first new part. That, that scientist is so glad to have it. Yes, skulls unlock new parts. Ooh, and I got a laser. That's fun. And a super boost. And that's all right. Let's, uh, let's install the... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Back to the hangar we go. Let's install that laser. And uh, if you'll notice, there are different um, achievements for every weapon part. So, you know, we'll go over that. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Um, can I, how, how do I change the, the body type? Oh, down like this. There we go. And we'll do the super boost. So we are now the Laser Knight. And the deal with the Laser Knight is we go real fast, but we turn slow, as you can sort of see there. The laser is fun. Um, I think I might actually prefer the regular gun to it. I think the the super boost might actually be a little bit weaker too than the main chassis, but whatever, we're going as fast as heck. And the reason I might prefer the main gun is uh, this one is obviously, you know, just a direct dealing kind of weapon like that. Look at that, I got creamed like corn. We got three jets in a game and three enemy types in a game, I can do that. Um... Yeah, it's just a little bit harder learning to navigate. So, these are the most basic enemy type, that kind of World War One looking biplane thing there, and they just shoot a big old globe of energy at you. This is where the laser really shines, is when there's a whole bunch of enemies, and you can, you know, sort of wipe them all out like that. I mean, it's good. It's it's not a, a an awful weapon. There we go. There's three enemy types in a game. Those are the jets, obviously. They go real fast. Hey... I may get a triple threat here. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, and max combo. I think that's a 20. Ah, oh, I didn't. I didn't get three jets. Hey, there's a new... new, um... piece down here. So now, I've got a completely new body. Alright, let's see what this one is. Six jets in total, huh? The Tuba Rouser. I like it. Every combination, which, you know, obviously there's a huge... because there are, uh, engines weapons and bodies. Every combination has a unique name, and people will play through and sort of find their favorites. Oh, I didn't see what my new goals were. Nice thing about the armor, obviously, is that it takes a, a lot of hits and keeps going. I think it might be a bit slower is the downside, but because I've got the tuber boost, the uh, uh, super boost, the super boost on the tuber, um, a lot of that damage is negated. Now, as you can see, if I'm not firing and I don't have the engine on, I get a much better turn radius there. Whew. Not too bad. So these big guys are battleships. They come at you after a while. They don't actually count as bosses, although they do have a lot of health. That might be my first one sunk, which I would be very proud of. Uh, jets there. Eventually we'll start seeing, yeah, those guys. Um, we didn't much get to see them, but those are sort of more experimental craft. Don't confuse them with the boss level craft that I was facing earlier that had the lasers like what I've got here. Ooh, I'm toast. Uh, you don't want to take a full range of those. Okay, five enemies boosting non-stop, six jets in total, and three jets in a game. Ah, I can give that a shot. I'll go for a few more levels here, and uh, see if we can't get ourselves a few more, a few more parts. Um, if you see a combination that you'd particularly like to see tried in the thread, then uh, please, by all means, bring that up. 
So as I said, being underwater hurts you gradually. There we go. Um, I don't know. There was a jet. Ooh, there's another jet. Jets are sort of my business, so I'll want to be spending most of my time focused on those. Doing my best to uh, learn how to more effectively use this. Okay, so guys like this that shoot streams of beams, what's really important is kind of going at uh, right angles to their fire, because you don't want, I mean, you can't, even with the armor chassis, you can't take like a bunch of their shots in a row. So you want to take, you know, just two or three, make your escape, and then be healing. There we go. Very satisfying. Oh, there's a bunch of jets. There it is. Three jets in a game. What was it? Six jets overall? New achievement. Whew. I don't think I'm supposed to kill five enemies without stopping boosting. Fortunately, the laser is not really a bad weapon for that. I think I'm gonna get creamed by this guy here. Yeah. Although I didn't stop boosting. I have nothing says I don't I have to keep firing, which lets me heal. Yeah, if you get up too high, I haven't shown that off yet, there's clouds. And getting up in the clouds can hurt can hurt you just like getting in the water does. Eventually we're gonna get a uh, there it is. Alright, there's my triple threat. All three achievements in one game. Look at that, this whole little armada back here, which was just too slow to uh, catch up with me as I was turbo boosting, and oh, sweet mercy, there is a submarine. It'd be fun to kill one of those, so let's give it a shot, huh? These guys fire those missiles at you, and those missiles are punishing. That's what you need to know about those missiles. Whew. We're almost toast there. Generally, gaining altitude is a good way to get out of uh, attacks, although that didn't work quite out for me. There's level three. So, did we get anything from that? We... Oh, there we go. Six enemies while on damage, ten enemies while on fire, and a bow to the max combo. Interesting. You know what? I'm uh, I'm feeling a little... Let's go back to original. And armor's good, and let's go with uh, original, armor, original. Here we go. Twenty enemies total, ten enemies on fire. Score over 5,000. This is just a heavy. Yeah! That quick turn while firing is always nice. Even... I will note, even without the um, the boost engine, st uh, killing your thrust while you're turning is always kind of a good idea. It just allows for these real tight, really efficient turns. But maneuverability is just absolutely king in this game. You can hear my little low energy alarm there. There we go. So I'm thinking what I'll probably do, uh, in terms of the LP, is go on a couple particular challenge runs. You know, try to take this through and uh, really learn how to do it. There we go, 20 enemies in total, not bad. Oh, uh, is there a one for a boat at uh, max combo? I guess not, because there was a boat at max combo. I guess I got out of that weapon part. This can be frustrating because sometimes you will, like, very easily get a challenge, but, like, with the wrong part, and sometimes you just, eh, hey, new high score. Sometimes you absolutely cannot get a, uh, a challenge with the part that it needs it. Oh, well. Hey! I've got the Gungeon. I don't, I don't remember liking this one very much, but we'll sure give it a try. Let's do one or two more runs and give it a shot here. What am I supposed to be doing? Kill a jet at max combo. You got it. Yeah, it's it's this really like weird and spotty um, thrust, and because it doesn't let you have that maneuverability that I crave, and it just doesn't put out enough fire to really make it worth it. I mean, it's nice being able to uh, you know fire without turning around, but like look how slow I'm climbing. It's just awful. But whatever. I need to try to uh, kill a jet at max combo, I guess. So. That's what we'll do. Oh, there's uh, one now. It's very accommodating of the jet. Unfortunately, I lost my combo, so we'll need to kill 20 more to make up for it. I wish I had caused him to run into the uh, clouds there when I had my combo, but, you know, we do what we can. Causing jets to run into the uh, 
hazards at either end of the level can be extremely effective. Because skulls are sort of the upgrade tokens in this game, and because some uh, ship parts just, in my opinion, aren't that good, you sort of have to compensate. Um, like, there's one weapon that I really, really like. Hey, oh, I didn't know that was a requirement. It's been the next one for whatever part I got my previous achievement for. What am I ang angling for now? Ten enemies while on fire and a jet at max combo. I'm glad I managed to kill a couple enemies while on fire anyway. I think to be on fire you just have to take a lot of damage, although not that much, evidently. That looks interesting. Let's give that one a try. That's our first new weapon in a while. And I'll try to get an achievement with a Gungeon again still. Look at that. That's a good weapon there. So, one of the things that makes this game really appealing... Well, two things. First off is that it's just fun to play and mess around with. I think this might have been a bad combo, though, because a combination of the uh, big kickback from the gun and the slow... Um, the slow acceleration caused by my... Uh, rear turret there means that I'm having trouble doing... I certainly can't, like, climb or fly much while I'm being effective. Did that count? Okay, I guess it did. Only got four enemies to go while on fire for that achievement. Oh, I think I'm toast. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't get out of the way in time and you see stuff coming, then, uh, you know you're in trouble. So, here is a good measure of the game, which is that I keep saying, oh, only one more run and then I'll stop, and then I keep signing on for another run. Because, here's the thing, it's levels come and go very quickly, there isn't really much, uh, excuse me, um, you do need to concentrate for some of this. There isn't really uh, a whole lot of barrier to starting a new level or anything like that. Oh, this would be such a good time if I could kill a jet. Yes, there we go. Nice. Three jets and max combo. You're not really going to get much of a better opportunity than that. So if I couldn't make the most of that one, I might as well have thrown in my Rouse badge. Obviously, some achievements are much, much harder than others. Anyway, there's, there's not too much of a waiting time between levels. And you don't always feel that. Hey, 30 enemies in a game. Uh, you don't always feel bad if you, uh, you know, have a really good run and don't, um, I don't know, end up getting the achievement you want or kill the right boss or anything like that. It's fine, you know, you, uh, you've at least caused someone a whole lot of headache. I'm not sure exactly what war we're supposed to be fighting here. Look at that. Where are we gonna be now? You know what, I feel like we can get out of that one. Let's go back to the original engine, which is what only wants us to get a max combo. Two boats on damage and three more enemies on fire. Now we're the Kozilek. Kozilek! Okay. Now... I think... that even if you take damage and heal... Yes. Uh, all it wants you to be is, uh, un, you know, in, in perfect health when you land the killing blow on the ship. I guess they're having the idea that that will be a bit more rare, which it probably will, because ships are a bit inconvenient to hit, you know, being down like they are and all. So some weapon parts are almost unambiguously better than others. Oh, there we go, there's my ten enemies on fire. Fortunately, due to the, uh, the nature of the game, it's not terrifically hard to get on fire. Another nice thing is uh, you make that... You make that real distinctive beep noise when you stop or when you get to perfect health. Do I not? Oh, alright. Maybe you need to be undamaged the entire time you're fighting the boat or something. That would be a bit of a pain. The other thing is I'm not exactly sure what the uh, distance is that they let you get away. Oh golly, two battleships. That's never a good time. With uh, hitting enemies, I mean, sh you know, you, it's, it's clear that your bullets degrade after a little bit of distance, but I'm sure on exactly what that is. There we go. Good stuff, battleship. Battleships by themselves aren't awful. Uh, I mean, they're slow, you know, obviously, and as long as you've got a decent engine, 
the gun engine isn't the best for those guys, but as long as you've got a decent enough engine, you can pretty easily take them out. But when there get to be like two or three of them, you know, then they can really fill the area. And it's not even a bullet hell because there's just no evading it. Oh, that thing, it's filling up the entire radar. Well, I know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means we've encountered the, uh, what you might call main boss. Let me see if I can take out this guy. He's annoying me. Maybe annoying me to death here in a second, unless I can heal. So these guys, yeah, I said our uh, there. There we go. Experimental aircraft. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Sometimes I love having the armor body because otherwise I would be toast on a roast right now. So here's the Zeppelin. It is just a big old angry airship, and boy does it hate you. Uh, you need to be a bit quick and maneuverable. You can shoot the torpedoes out of the air, but obviously, as you see, you can't shoot most enemy bullets. Having a battleship around when it's uh, firing on you is generally recognized as bad for your health. And as you can guess, it has just a boat of health. No, no pun intended there, I suppose. I think you have to hit it from below. Maybe not. And what am I doing still firing? I gotta be healing. Ah, got me. They, they're sort of the bosses. Uh, defeating them brings on what you might call a stage two of the game. All right. Boats while I'm damaged. Huh? Always taking me back to zero of three. I guess I have to do them all in one run. All right. Let's call this for sure the last run of this uh, update. And after this is out, well then I will. Uh, I will meditate and rouse a bit more. We will we will rouse again. Incidentally, um, if you are in time for the Steam sale or whatever, the thing is like two bucks on Steam right now, so I would heartily recommend picking it up. Come on, nerds. Did that count? It did not. I took a little bit of water damage and that's all that's all it took for me. about that? Oh man. Oh, I have to kill three boats in a row undamaged. I didn't pick up on that. Well, that sounds like the kind of thing that's best done early in a run, so I may not be making it this time. Alright. Didn't get the... Oh, I made level four, so that's nice. Got the melee attack part, which, uh, also is you to, uh, you know, as it says, it doesn't, doesn't fire, but you just ram into enemies and destroy them. What the heck, I'll show off how it goes. You don't do any damage when you ram into enemies this time, which is, uh, fun. Boom. Down he goes. Alright, that's, uh, that's enough for now. So I will leave you guys with that. Thanks, and good rousing.